In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to use Hitachi Content Platform for CloudScale to configure a rule to synchronize a bucket to an external system for backup or further processing of objects placed in the bucket. For this example, we'll use an existing HCP for CloudScale bucket as the bucket with a sync to a rule and an existing Amazon Web Services or AWS bucket as its target. You can use an API method to configure the sync to triggering rule, but here we'll use the HCP for CloudScale S3 console and its convenient graphical user interface. We'll start with you logged into the S3 console application and displaying a bucket that you want to use. You must configure at least one rule to process the objects in the bucket. You can create multiple complex rules for the same bucket that fire based on the object's name prefix or one or more tags. But for this example, we'll create one simple rule, triggered whenever an object is placed in the bucket that copies the object to the sync to target. From the S3 console, select the bucket you want to use. Click the Properties tab to display the bucket policies. In the Sync to Replication panel, click Configure. Then, click Add Rule. By default, the rule applies to all objects. Now, select the S3 bucket type. Here, we're using Amazon S3, which sets the S3 hostname. Enter the region for your bucket. Enter the target S3 bucket name. Enter your AWS access key. Enter your AWS secret key. Select the addressing model. Here, we'll use the virtual hosted style. Select the protocol. AWS uses the default value of HTTPS. Now that you've configured the remote bucket connection, be sure to test it. When you've finished, click Done, and then click Add Rule. Finally, click Update to save the rule. You have now successfully configured and verified the Sync to rule. That is how to configure an HCP for CloudScale Sync to bucket rule. In a later video, we'll show you how to configure an HCP for CloudScale bucket with a sync from rule. Thanks for watching.